Revelation 1372. From the 5th of April 1940. Earthly Pleasures of the God-Minded People The spirit beings in the hereafter, are in most intimate connection with people, and so they know about every stirring of the heart, and their task now is to strengthen every stirring, which is turned towards God as much as possible, as well as to intervene by hindering where the stirring of the heart could lead to a relapse from God. Only this is decisive and therefore destiny determining. Provided that all thoughts of the earthly man move in a way pleasing to God, also the course of life will correspond to the innermost wishes, because no longer the world is desired, but God, therefore also the calm course of earthly life can no longer be an obstacle to the higher development of the soul. It is now up to those spiritual beings to check to what extent earthly pleasures could still be an obstacle for man and thus they direct the individual events according to the measure of desire for God. What could reduce or limit this desire, must be withheld from the earthly child until the will to God eliminates everything else in the heart. God himself is love, and so also must also the deepest love of man be for God. All earthly desire must have the union with God, as goal, only that which promotes this union with God must be striven for. Then all human earthly desire has lost its meaning and can then also no longer be wrong before God. And with a man striving for the height, the beings on the other side will know to prevent everything what could endanger the final union with God, because the desire for worldly happiness is but foam, even if it appears desirable to man for a short time. If he has now completely overcome and only desires to unite with God as a set goal, then this also brings a loosening of the earthly restrictions with itself, many things which man has eagerly striven for before, but was wisely denied. Now there is however no more danger for the earthly child to be separated from the father as a result. And so the earthly life of the God-minded man need not be joyless at all provided that these joys no longer endanger the striving upwards, therefore are not sought for their own sake. If, however, the danger is not yet completely overcome, the beings on the other side see to it that man's desire is first clarified and all earthly desire is killed, so that the soul does not run the risk of becoming shallow. Whoever earnestly seeks God, however, need not fear any danger if he entrusts all his ways to God and asks him for his guidance. Then he will be guided rightly and reach his goal. Amen.